Here's a video explaining on how to use the GAA tagging window dashboard we have created to use on Naxport Basic Plus. Now, depending on which version of Naxport you have, you might see register from file or tag video. This is the option that you need to click. So I click on tag video, and then you choose the game that you want to tag. From this, my tag window, video player, and play-by-play -play table appears. Now, from the video player, you have some shortcuts that you can use, such as the left and right arrow keys that skip five seconds for you. So just this is one of the benefits of doing this post-event so you can skip through any dead time or injuries. Also, you have up and down that skips 15 seconds. And you also have M and N, which goes frame by frame. And also, you can scroll through the video player to speed up that process. From here, you can also change the settings from that. So you can click on the settings, video keyboard control, and I can edit this if you want to change the duration of the short skip, the left and right, or the up and down duration. So we have had to edit this slightly and adapt it so that it works in Basic Plus because there are some limitations in using Maxwell Basic Plus compared to Tag and View. In Maxwell Basic Plus, you only have uh, the option of up to 50 buttons in the tag window, which can be categories or descriptors. Compared to using tag and view, you have uh, the option for unlimited buttons. Also, you have the option for clustered buttons, which you can overlay buttons behind each other, which with less clicks, you can gather more data. And also, you have the option for panels, which you can have uh, ten, a tag window going from one panel to the other so you're not overloading that one panel in the tagging window and then the other feature you also have is the activation links which you can set to activate another button so if you click on one button it automatically um, starts and activates another button in the tag window when you move higher up the versions when you go to Naxport Scout this is where um, some of the features increase and you have the options for graphic scripters and unlimited buttons. So this is our tagging window for our um, first tags. So the way we would start it is I would click first half throw in. Then I would go whoever's possession is. I'm going to go own possession. Now this is a manual mode button so stays on for as long as you want because you don't know how long a piece of possession is going to last. So now, for example, I'm going to go through and through some scenarios on how to use this target window. So say now we have possession, but it hasn't turned into an attack. It's gone straight to a turnover. I click on own turnover, own turnover, and then click on off possession. And this turns off own possession, activates off possession. Because they're both manual modes, we've excluded them from each other. So then whenever I click on either one, it will turn the other one off. Now, the opposition have had uh, the possession, but they haven't gone into an attack either. They have uh, had a turnover, op turnover, op turnover, and then own possession. Now, the own team have um, gone into an attack, so therefore I click on own attack, own attack. This is a manual mode button as well, so that stays on for as long as you want. And as you can see, my play-by-play -play table, all the categories and uh, my uh, descriptors that I have in there as well, go into the play-by-play -play table. Now, our own team have had a shot, so I click on own shot, own shot, and where it was on the pitch. And as you can see, and then you would go either score or no score, so I'm going to go score, and whether it was a point or a goal. So I'm going to press escape now to deactivate the manual mode buttons. And as you can see, when I put the location for the shots here, you want to do it as if every team is playing towards, both teams are playing towards this score. So after I have um, pressed escape, now the opposition have a kick out. So I click on off kick out, where it was, and if all, our own team won it or the opposition. So I'm going to click on off one, and because we won it, the opposition have got possession. They have turned into an attack. But from that attack, they've turned it over. They've had four, I've turned over, let's click on off turnover, and then I'm going to click on own possession, and then own attack. But from that attack, 
For example, they could have um, given the turnover away, so own turnover, own turnover, and then click on op possession. They have gone into an attack now, op attack, op attack, and now the opposition have had a shot. So I'll click on op shot, op shot, where it was, and this was a score and a goal. Now remember to press escape to restart it. You can also press the space bar button to pause the video player just in case it's going a bit too fast for you if you want to slow things down. Now our own team has had kick out, so click on own kick out, own one, and our own team is in possession. And they have had um, gone into an attack and they have had a shot. So click on own shot, own shot, where it was, but this time it was a no score. Now we press escape. So the opposition have got a kick out now. Click on our kick out where it was, but this time the other team won it. So own one. Now our own team is in possession, but they've given a turnover away straight away. Haven't gone into an attack. Own turnover, own turnover. Now op team are in possession. Op attack. Now they have uh, got a shot, so I click on op shot, op shot, where it was, and this time it was a no score. And I would press escape to restart it. So the opposition have got a kick out where it was, and they have won it back. So therefore, op possession. Now with fouls and cards, these are categories. So you can add them in, click on them as they uh, appear in the game and they will create those clips for you. So for example, op foul conceded. So that means the other team have got possession. So turnover, turnover, and then own team, own possession, have got the possession of the ball. They have given a foul away. Therefore, turnover, turnover, and then op possession. So you click on these as they appear. The same with the cards. So for card, some uh, player on a card, I would click on these category buttons. Now from this, when the second half appear starts, you would just click on second half, throw in, and go through the same process again. From here, I can have a look at my dashboard and see the information come in to the dashboard. As you can see, not everything is coming through because we have had to adapt the template to be uh, to make it two templates so that we have the relevant uh, information coming through on the dashboards. So for example, like this section for you and below for you, you will see this start to fill up as we go through our second tags. So what I will do now, I will click on the filter button. Sorry, first of all, I need to open the other tagging window. So, and this is a good example as well. If you open uh, if you've got a tag video, first of all, and the wrong button to, uh, tag window appears, I can click on this button for you, and I can choose the right tag window to open. So I'm going to go on my second tags, and this opens. As you can see, the, these are mainly descriptors with me because we're adding the information into those categories. So now I'm going to click on the filter tool for you. And I'm going to work down this list. So I'm going to go on kickouts first. So I'm going to click on, you can either do it own kickout, then op kickout. But I think it's easier to do both at the same time. So I click on op kickout and own kickout. So from you, I can click on the play button view. And then press my space bar to play that clip. And as you see, as I click through these, it takes me to that time in the game where the kickouts happened. So I just need to make sure this is highlighted. So you can look back at the video player if you've forgotten what happened. Or you can look at some of the descriptors below. So op kick out, op one. So it was one clean. So own kick out, own one. For example, and if, if you're now, I'm going to make a mistake. I'm going to op one break. But we actually won it. It's so all I need to do is double click. And then press X on the one that I want to delete. X here, so I'm going to highlight that one again, and that was one break. So if you make a mistake, add the script in, it's really easy to get rid of them. So opposition kick out, other team have won it, and that was 
one free. Opposition kick out, the opposition won it. So I'm going to go on mark. So now we're going to work down the, the tag window here. So all these three sections here are for shots. So I'm going to untick the kick outs and I'm going to go on own shot and op shot. So from here, I can click on the play button again to look back at the video to see what happened. So own shot, it was a score and a point. So I don't need to worry about this one because this is a no score. So that was from our own kick out and it was from play. So you can add two in at the same time when it's highlighted. Opposition shot. And it was a score and a goal. So don't need to worry about this one again. It was from um, a throw in from placed. Now these ones are no score, own shot. So I need to go look at this one. So I'm going to say it was a save from, I could say, maybe an opposition turnover from play. Opposition shot, no score. That was a wide. And it was from a throw in from play. So once you've done that on the clips, you can just select the other ones that you want to go through. So now we're going to go down to my discipline. So I'm going to look at my cards. So I just need to click on these and then add the cards in that appeared in the game. And also with a positive and negative moment, if something appears for the coaches analyst using it, they want to look back at, you can click on these, but they are category buttons and they will give you those clips. Also remember, as I mentioned earlier, if you do make a mistake, for example, this wasn't a yellow card, it was actually uh, another red. I can double click on this, click the X, highlight it again, and press black or red or yellow, whichever card it was. Now from here, I can click on the dashboard again, double click for here. Now my dashboard opens, as you can see, more information is coming in for you because of the second tags and the way we have set this up. From here then, once you've done your tagging, you can go to the timeline for you. From the timeline, you can review your clips and then you also have some other features such as the matrix and presentations, which the matrix helps you filter those tools down, um, filter those clips down, apologies, uh, to find the relevant one. And also you have the presentation there, which you can add your clips uh, into to, if you want to do a team meeting or review certain clips back. We also have plenty of no, um, tutorial videos available on our knowledge base on our on analysis pro website if you ever have issues with anything.